Hey there folks, John Nolan here with your PM Update, looking ahead to Thursday's edition of the Times Leader. But first, I wanted to introduce you to two of our newest reporters, Margaret Rohde, who you've already seen on our PM Updates, and Hannah Simerson, whose first day is today. Margaret's a general assignment reporter who's been covering a range of topics, while Hannah's going to be covering the city of Wilkes-Barre and other stories for us as needed. So Margaret, Hannah, tell us a little bit about yourselves. I just started about two months ago. Um, I am a recovering retail worker and I really love to watch movies and I also love to write about them. So I'm Hannah, I'm a recent college graduate from Wilkes University where I studied English and Communication Studies. I'm also a big film buff and I'm very excited to be here. Thanks ladies. A Luzerne County jury has acquitted a woman on felony aggravated assault and convicted her of simple assault and reckless endangerment in connection with a 2021 brawl at a youth football game. Ed Lewis will explain those details. And the United Way of Wyoming Valley is participating in the Million Minute Challenge to raise awareness about the importance of reading, particularly among young children. Bill O'Boyle is going to tell us about that. Remember, folks, if you're not already a subscriber, call 570-829-5000 or visit timesleader.com slash subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.